Joining us on the show to speak on imperative, in the imperative of regenerative medicine in tackling some terminal diseases is a renowned regenerative medicine specialist in adult stem cell therapy and platelet-rich plasma therapy, geriatric medicine doctor David Ikudaisi. Welcome to the show, sir. Oh, thank you for having me on your show. <laughs> you can join us on 081-270-53687-091-390-767. Six nine four. You can also send us messages on YouTube and uh, Facebook. We'll be happy to read your messages. Dr. Ikudaisi, good to have you on the show. Now, regenerative medicine, um, before we even go further into all the options available, what does it mean exactly? Tell us what regenerative means. Well, uh, regenerative medicine is a fairly new area of medicine that has been existing for close to 25 years. Okay. And that is um, the area of medicine that deals with using cells and tissue in the body to repair, restore, rejuvenate, and regenerate any damaged tissue or organs in the body back to normal functioning state. Fantastic. Okay, so is this a true event or is this... Um, so I saw one time on TV okay. where a man had cut his finger off and they said doctors that were doing regenerative medicine found a way and uh, some, after a, a period of time, his finger grew back. Yes. So is that real or is that fake? Because when I saw it, I was like, is this real? How can a finger grow, up, grow back? And they were like, look at it. It even looks newer and fresher than all the other fingers. So is that regenerative medicine or is that computer work? Plastic surgery. No, no, no. <laughs> that is regenerative medicine. You okay. are very correct. Okay. Not only will the finger grow back, mm. the fingerprints at the tip of that particular and savage uh, finger yeah. will be restored. Exact print, the exact print. Wait now, wait now, wait now. Wait now. <laughs> so the finger is off. Yes. yes. Not that they took that finger that cut off and put it back and then stitched it maybe after adding the cells. But it grew okay. from the injury. Now, before we get too excited about that, uh -huh. the depth of the injury or the length of Let's say, for example, uh, you know, the finger is kind of in three sections. If yes. you bend, you can yes. see, all yes. right? right? So the distal or the extreme last part, if it's uh, chopped up for whatever reason by mistake, uh -huh. you know, it can, uh, you can regrow that uh, finger. Mm -hmm. You know, there are, you put stem cells there. The stem cell will stimulate the regeneration of that uh, wow. part of the body. Mm. Actually, I like the way Mayo Clinic in U.S. defines regenerative medicine. They call it a game-changing area of medicine that is offering solutions and hope for people who have conditions today that are beyond repair. Mm. Mm. So in other words, when your doctor tells you, deal with it for the rest of your life, those that are in regenerative I'm medicine sure. say that there's still hope. hope. How <clears throat> accessible is this hope? Oh, how, much? how affordable is this hope? Mm. Because it seems to me like it's a big man's... How do you now start? I've, I've, you know, watched a lot of movies when they talk about stem cells, and I know all the machines that are involved in this. Right. Are you yes. sure it's accessible to the common man? Uh, you see, health is worth. You cannot put price on anybody's life. Mm. So each family, each individual, we have to determine or decide what their priority is. Um, the door is open to everyone. Yes, it's, it's true. That is, when things are new in medicine, they're always more That's expensive. True. But over time, you know, the cost start uh, oh, yeah. gradually uh, coming down. Could you tell us how it works? I mean, for somebody who has a stroke or somebody who's undergoing cerebral palsy? Okay. For example, um, when you have a stroke, that means there's defi deficiency of oxygen supply to your, uh, part of, one part of your brain. So the brain cells are now programmed to die. Uh, we in medical call it a uh, apoptosis. So program said that once the patient has been stabilized, if they cannot speak or they can't move their hand, what um, stem cell uh, um, crisis or ability include this, they can reverse those death sentence within hours. By the next day, somebody who cannot speak during the acute phase will start speaking. Somebody who cannot move their hands will start uh, moving. That's, and then for... Things like cerebral palsy, that is not acute, or that's already been happening for many uh, months or years. That's, we call it chronic. So if you have a chronic stroke or you have cerebral palsy, you're going to need more than one treatment session 
to be able to continue to stimulate the brain to grow new cells and then multiply, then differentiate to replace the job of the dead ones. Mm. And so that's pretty much how it works. But when it is acute, when it's within one week, two weeks, three weeks, those uh, brain cells are programmed to die, you can bring them back to life. That is just as simple as, and that is just one treatment. So it is, it is um, the, you get a wow effect in acute stroke, you get one treatment, it's less expensive, but when it is old, you still get results because I have uh, sorry, at the center where we, we, I work, then we, they have patients there, right. you know. Right. Okay, so, sorry, are they non-surgical procedures? Um, it is um, elective, non-invasive procedure. Mm. So there's no knife cut, we just use needle to assess what I want, where I'm getting the stem cells from, or whoever is doing what I do. Mm. You know, we just use needles, then when we come back, once we already separate the uh, stem cells, we introduce it to wherever uh, we need it. Mm. No okay. cut. So, sir, we are Nigerians, and my question is, do we have Nigerian doctors in Nigeria, with Ni in Nigerian hospitals, who are already doing these things? And if we have, who have they, like, what are the... Who are the patients that they success have helped? Cases. And okay. then is this um, regenerative medicine, is it 100% success rate or how does it work? Okay. Now, starting start with the last question, the success rate. If you go to major clinic website, they will give like uh, 75 to 85%. Uh, percent. At the center where I work, I would say we have clo close to 95, 97. And then the reason is also you have to be, the doctor has to be able to identify who it may not work for, even though, although that is few percentage. And then, then that being said, um, there's, um, I work at the center in uh, Lekki uh, Phase One, whereby uh, stem cell therapy or regenerative medicine procedures have been, have been done. And this actually has been going on in Nigeria since 2014. So talking about Nigerians that have it, we have, uh, I can't mention name of course, mm -hmm. but we have likes of uh, ministers, the government and government ministers, who they don't mind. We have uh, governor keys. We have uh, retired. Governors and Nigerian we governors have, and we have retired old grandmother in a Korodu okay. with acute strokes. So it's both for the rich, the middle, and the poor. Wow.